And today we're going to do a question and answer regarding IBF and also the questions like how we met. Alright, let's do it. Okay, so these questions I get asked by a lot of people and um, they're wondering why are you having to go through IVF? You want to ask that? Answer that? Um, the reason why we have to go through IVF is because of me and I have something called MTHFR. Mm -hmm. It's a gene mutation. We'll get to that in a second because somebody asks about that. Okay. Um, so it's basically because of him and it's not... It's not anything that he did. He was just born with it, which which was MTHFR. But we'll get to it along the way because somebody did ask. How much is IVF? That is the question I get all the time. It varies. IVF is not cheap at all. And it's pretty much all out of pocket. So I pretty much wrote down how much around mine was. So doctor's visits, you, you see them all the time. It's probably like 15 doctor visits. And yeah. so it's like thirteen to $1,500 depending on what your copay is. If you even have a copay, if you have insurance, I have United Healthcare um, that my company provides. So we were very lucky with that. Yeah, luckily she has good health insurance. But on my end, I don't have health insurance. So for my part, he had I had to pay, pay for out of pocket everything. for my stuff. But yeah. There's only two tests for my part. Blood work. There is blood work all the time. Right now, I just got drawn. Today, they drew blood out. They seriously draw blood all the time. For They do all kinds of testings all the time, especially in IVF. Every doctor's visit, there's a draw, blood draw. So those vary. Thankfully, because of my insurance, they pay 100% of them, so we don't have to worry about them. However, it just depends whether you do have it or you don't have health insurance. Mm -hmm. Then the medicines from $2,600 to $3,500, depending on the dose the doctor puts you in. IVF itself, it's $8,000. That's including egg retrieval fees, IVF lab, facility, education, teaching fee, and embryoscopo... And embryoscopo... I can't... Where's the word at? Embryoscopo... Scopo. Embryos. Embryoscopo. Whatever. Fee. <laughs> <laughs> that looks weird. $500 for anesthesia because for the egg retrieval they need to put me under anesthesia. And like $3,000 for the base like appointment and that's the frozen embryo transfer. So you're... Um, and the uh, self-pay... Oh, and also because of Kyle's issue. Don't say... <laughs> My issue because of Ky because of Kyle's issue, we have to pre-screen our embryos. Embryos, um, and that's twenty five hundred dollars. Luckily, extra. luckily our insurance was able to cover it. Overall, it's like eighteen thousand dollars cash. So be aware of that. Um, how old are you guys, and how long have you guys been married for? Well, I'm twenty five. I just turned twenty seven. And we've been married for four years. And we've been trying for two two years. Two years. Yeah. Um, does insurance cover IVF? No, it does not. But they did cover the screening part for me only the first time. That's it. Um, how much was the medicine and will insurance cover it? I pretty much went over it with you guys. And no, insurance doesn't cover medicine. Um, but you can get discounts if you do not make money like... The average, the average of the American. Unfortunately, we were not able to do that. But if you do not have the money to do it, there is always another option. Always, always, always call different um, pharmacies because everybody will give you a different price and asks ask about um, if. If you pay in full, will they give you a discount? Um, what's their company discount? Always ask all the questions. Keep a little notebook because that's what I did and write every 
discount and um and how much it is and go with the best company and also your lab visits too didn't you get a cheaper price for a lab visit no for that's lab that that has no oh lab yeah for it wasn't for, for medicine testing. but it was for something else for blood testing for blood it was else. for you because he doesn't have insurance oh, yeah. so me. i called around in different labs like lab corp and other places where they draw blood to test it lab corp was the cheapest so call around i mean yeah it's not going to kill you to call. I mean, if it's going to save you a couple thousand dollars, why not? Um, you are so young. Why, why don't you keep trying? Well, because of his thing that he has is the reason why we can keep trying. Um, that goes along with the question of what is MTHFR. And MTHFR is actually a gene mutation where Kyle can create a baby with um, autism, AD, ADD or ADHD, um, Down syndrome, and that's why we have re recurring, recurring pregnancy recurring losses. Miscarriages, yeah. Because the way he's making the baby, They're not getting enough chromosomes. So they're either getting 22 or 24, and average every human has 23, so... Um, pairs. Pairs. Um, but that's the reason why we have to go through IBF because they have, and that's also the reason why we have to pre-screen it um, before we keep this going. Why are you playing with God by choosing the sex of the baby? We are not Did playing you really with get that God. Question? Yeah, we are not playing with God by choosing the sex of the baby. Uh, actually, because we have to pre-screen it they are able to tell all the chromosomes and they're able to tell if it's a boy or a girl and they will give us a choice if they're both healthy but our decision is going to be whatever the baby it's still not 100 percent. it's not guaranteed so we're just we're just going to choose the healthiest of course i want a girl and if it's a girl i'll be boy. really happy he wants a boy but whatever is healthiest so no we are not playing with god what made you decide to go to a fertility specialist a doctor that I had just kept putting me on different medicines. And she was going through a lot of miscarriages too. Yeah. Which is concerning. I lost four babies. So this past year itself, we lost two. One in December, around this time actually. December and then in May? In June. 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 Do the shots hurt? Gonal doesn't hurt at all. Med The first day didn't hurt for you because you had a lot of adrenaline. It wasn't so bad. And then now, each day... The passes, it's hurting a little more, I would say, for you. Yeah. And then right after she takes a shot, she's in some pain whenever the, uh, I guess the injection goes through your body. Yeah. Somehow, there's a little bit of pain it feels like and discomfort. It's uh, the menopir. It just feels like it's a burning sensation. The first day, like he said, it did not hurt at all because of the adrenaline, but it's starting to hurt lately. And it definitely hurts my ovaries and it keeps them bloated. And, I mean, it's not yeah. fun, and I think I have back pain. Last night, I couldn't move. You had back pain, too, yeah. He had to, like... Right after the shots. Yeah, he had to pretty much massage my back the whole night for me to go to sleep. But you woke up fine, Thank right? You. Thank you for that. No problem, dude. Um, yes, he massaged my back the whole night until I fell asleep because the pain was so bad. It really was bad. Yeah. Um, and also what helps a lot is I put ice or an ice pack in my stomach so it numbs it mm -hmm. so the needle doesn't feel but yesterday i forgot to put it in so i only put it in for like probably mm -hmm. 30 minutes. seconds yeah. and it was like 30 seconds and it hurt so put the ice pack <laughs> yeah how many shots is it in t it's in total i don't know but i well, i have counted but right now you're she's doing two a day two a day for a week and after that goes to three. three shots a day yep in the stomach with yes Testing once a week, twice a week? The blood work? Yes. With blood work, twice a week. It just depends. Whenever you see the doctor, they test you. They so you. far, I've been tested twice. And Thursday, which is this Thursday coming up, it'll be three times. Yeah. Um, what is the percentage of you having a healthy baby? The doctor said 60%. So, but because of her age, we have a better factor of having a healthy baby. Um, the older you get, the, the less likely your chances are, unfortunately. But, I mean, we're still young right now, so why not go for it? Also, and she said my body. Your, your body's completely healthy. So, obviously just issues with me. 
but it is what it is, and we've well, been praying a lot, so hopefully God It's is also on our side. not just Kyle. I also have... Um, like thick blood or no, something? No, I have ovarian syndrome. Oh, I forgot what's it called. P PCOS. I forgot the name of it, but um, I don't ovulate every month, but that was one of my only things. But that one's it kind was, of minor. It's easy to, it's easy to fix, you know, with... What's wrong? What's wrong? Um, it's easy to fix, but every time we did do that route, we would get pregnant. She would get pregnant. But then we would lose it. And she would, she would lose so it. No. that's one of the biggest reasons why we're doing IVF, because it's honestly mentally exhausting and yeah, we get excited emotionally. And the last time she was pregnant, we, we weren't didn't even, even get excited, excited. So we're just like, hopefully I, it sticks. That yeah, I I pretty much went to you and I was like, babe, I'm pregnant, and you said, well, let's pray. I hope everything's okay. Like it was no excitement. Mm -hmm. I mean, deep inside, I kind of was a little excited. Excited. But I didn't oh, yeah. want it to let it out a little bit, yeah. because I knew that something could happen. And she can go through these miscarriages her whole life, and then, but there is a slight chance I could have a healthy, normal baby, but you know, slim. without IVF. But it's really slim, so I'd rather not have her go through all the miscarriages and all the, all the emotional distress. Distress, yeah. So, how did you find out that you're? Husband had a MTHFR. Well, before we found out, we actually thought it was me who had all the issues and why we couldn't get pregnant. And they test me for absolutely everything. Like, you name it. Um, At the time, I just did my semen analysis and I was supposed to do two tests and the other one I didn't do. It's kind of my forgot. fault. I forgot. But... Well, at the time being, she's like, you have to do the semen analysis first, and then, you know, at least in a couple months, do the test. And I was like, okay, then it just slowed my mind, and I thought, it's not going to be me, and, you know, well, here you go, it is me, so. Yeah, you, you should never discard any cards. Yeah, never assume it's not yourself, because no. you just, you never know. If the if your fertility specialist says we got to test him, please go test for this, mm -hmm. do it, because... It, it could have saved us a lot of time and money because we spend a lot of money. We went to more doctor's visits because of this. Yeah, so... And you had another miscarriage because of it. And another miscarriage and a hospital visit because I lost a baby. Yeah, so... So it just adds up. Just get tested. And I was looking up online for my... What I have, it's like one out of 500 people have it. So I'm really luckily actually, unlucky. So... <laughs> um, I actually have it here. What? How many people have what you have? I looked it up. It's like one out of five hundred people. So, well, it affects one to five percent of couples worldwide. And one out of five percent. Wow! Look at me. <laughs> 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 I'm in the top one percent of something you're, yes. you shouldn't be in. Yeah. No, just kidding, baby. That's not a good thing. Aww. No, it's okay. Um, if IVF doesn't work, oh no. Why don't you just adopt? Well, that will be an option. That's an option. If things don't work out. Mm -hmm. And it's not like we're discarding it. Or and it's actually more expensive, right? It is more route, expensive. And more time. Consuming. You have to wait. I mean, and it's not like we're not wanting to wait, but if we can have it ourselves, why not? Mm -hmm. If IVF doesn't work, will you try more times or will you adopt? I think we're going to try at least two more times if it doesn't work. But we're praying mm -hmm. a lot. A lot of praying. We have a lot of friends and family praying too. And hopefully you guys are praying yeah. as well. So I appreciate it if you guys are. And um, yeah, we'll have to, I guess, try again. But that's the worst case scenario, that is the worst obviously. Case scenario. But there's also another good thing is like if we have two healthy embryos and they put implant one in her and they have another one left over, we can save the other one for later on, right? Yes, up to five years. And they save them up to five years. So. Then I think it'd be cheaper too, right? Once the, there's already an embryo there. Yeah, I, I think it's like it. three thousand dollars. How much that is, but it's like three thousand. So there's hope. Yes. Yeah. Well, if you have any other questions about IBF, yeah, let us know. We are an open book. We know how to get pregnant really quick. What worked with us. Obviously, it didn't stay for a reason, and I really do believe that everything happens for a reason. You don't know if God wanted us to be an example for other people or to even put us closer to each other. 
to let go of my fear of needles. Yeah, that's true. I, I don't have, I mean, I have that fear, but I can do the shots myself now. Yeah, we all have our struggles pretty much, and this is just one of ours. Everybody has their problems, and this was one. Um, one but bump in the road. It's a bump in the road, but we're slowly going through it. So hopefully you guys will hear good news. We will still be uploading every visit. Eggridge Free Will, it's next week. Not sure if it's going to be Wednesday or Thursday. That is That's a huge two. one. That's a big one. It's a huge one because they're going to see how many eggs I was able to create, how many eggs will be alive. I mean, not alive, but healthy. That may get, yeah. So we will update you guys in that too. And Thanks. you have a sonogram too on Thursday. Thursday. What are you going to check? To see how many eggs are there. Yeah, it's okay. And to make sure you don't ovulate because you don't want to. Um, ovulate because then what's the point you know you can't ovulate it without Kyle's sperm they need to put it together in the lab so that's, that's why it. that's why they gave me another shot and that's where the third one comes so I don't ovulate Yay. but anyways thank you guys for watching thank you we appreciate everything and um, if you have any questions leave them down below mm -hmm. don't forget to subscribe and like this button and yeah, just give us a shout Thanks for watching, and we are the Graces. The Graces. Thanks, guys. And you guys, you want to meet Chico? Chico, come here. Molly was in it, but Chico wasn't in it at all. Like, he's such an outcast. This is her Chico. And this is Molly. Our four-legged baby. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Woo.